Uh, these white guys make the big bucks by telling all the other whites to be less white. Professor Sam Williams of the wretched Penn State University hosts an utterly worthless class. Can you two introduce yourselves? Hi, um, I'm Sophia. I'm a freshman. My major is communication sciences and disorders. I'm Eli. My, I am a junior finance major. Is it that people who are critical of critical race theory, is it that they don't want to talk about race and culture issues at all? Or they don't want to talk about it in particular ways? They have, they have the idea that what we're trying to do is jam divisive race issues down people's throats and brainwash children to have a certain perspective on race and a very divisive perspective on race, a perspective on race in this country that like really that condemns white people as you know, all, like, like white people are racist, the system is, it's a, it's a white system that benefits white people. Um, and it just leads us to all this anti-whiteness stuff, which is like, uh, or, or anti-straight people, anti-men, anti-whatever it is, right? People have a fear that these trans activists are hijacking school systems and like teaching, talking about trans issues with young kids and getting young children to question their own sexuality even. That's not for teachers in schools to do, to, to be asking like eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds what their pronouns are. Tens of millions of school children in the United States, you just need one classroom and then that leads people to be a, fearful that this is happening all across the United States. And so what they don't want is a really divisive way of talking about this stuff. And in fairness, for me, as a, as a citizen of the United States, we're going to talk about critical race theory today. Can both of you define it for us? I think it's like how, like, laws and how, like, how laws and policies are made affect, like, like racism, like unknowingly. I guess I know some people think that it like divides people. How's it divide people? Some like some people think like the way uh, it's taught in like schools and stuff divides like people of color and then um, like white people. I guess. Mm -hmm. Can you say about how well, how it would divide people? Some people think that it makes like a s racist feel inferior to like like to the other mm -hmm. or like they're better than the other race mm -hmm. so they like want to take it out of schools mm -hmm. so it's it's creating a divisive atmosphere and going back to what you said and so it's a way of thinking yeah. that is really not just looking at, at individual behavior but looking at the patterns long-term historical patterns and the unintended consequences of patterns that hold structural inequality in place yeah. is the idea okay that's what you said essentially bro is that has, is that new to you because that's like not a thing that people talk about yeah i guess i don't really like understand a lot about it okay which is fair, most people don't. Even people that talk about it don't understand. The people who critique critical race theory, so like this, they wanna you know, ban like African-American studies courses and like these AP courses and so on, right? Or they, they, you know, they don't want it in, they don't want CRT in schools and so on. What do you think they would think about Social 119? Uh, they probably wouldn't like it if they don't wanna like, I think that's what they're trying to take out of school, so I feel like they'd be kind of shocked with this class, maybe. Yeah, because? Like, we talk about, like, race issues, like, class issues, like, a lot of issues about, like, what's happening in the world. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that, I think that's what they're trying to, like, stay away from. But is it, there, is it, the, is it the people who are critical of critical race theory Is it that they don't want to talk about race and culture issues at all? Or they don't want to talk about it in particular ways? I feel like they would usually try to make the argument that like learning like social 119 wouldn't be like beneficial to like if I'm majoring in finance, they would argue that learning stuff about like 
race, critical race theory, wouldn't be beneficial to like my degree. Uh huh. Uh huh. So like, and for other aspects, they would want that. Like, so so the idea is, we for some people, it like we shouldn't be talking about it at all, right? It, we should just like let it go. So here, this is a, a comment on one of our videos, or it was an email. Okay, so setting aside the dumb Democrats statement, right? Because I don't, I'm, I, obviously I can't get on board with that. But um, I actually find that lots of people who are very critical, they have, they have the idea that what we're trying to do is jam divisive race issues down people's throats and brainwash children to have a certain perspective on race and a very divisive perspective on race, a perspective on race in this country that like really that condemns white people as you know, all, like, like white people are racist. The system is, it's a, it's a white system that benefits white people. Um, and it just leads us to all this anti-whiteness stuff, which is like, uh, or, or anti-straight people, anti-men, anti-whatever it is, right? And there's a certain perspective that has been adopted, and it's embodied by critical race theory that most people have no idea what really critical race theory is. And largely, it's kind of, it's what you had said, right? But, you know, and that people have a fear. It's like the class we did two weeks ago when I was, we were talking about trans issues. And people have this idea that, these trans activists are hijacking school systems and like teaching, talking about trans issues with young kids and getting young children to question their own sexuality even. And like who's teachers and schools, that, that's not for teachers and schools to do, to, to be asking like eight year olds and nine year olds what their pronouns are. You know, that, that's just not the place to do it. And so, all you need are a few examples out there of that happening. One example, you, you know, you got like tens of millions of school children in the United States. You just need one classroom. And then that leads people to be fearful that this is happening all across the United States. And so what they don't want is a really divisive way of talking about this stuff. What do you think that person sees? I mean, kind of like what they're saying in that message. Um like an unbiased opinion in mm -hmm. somewhat and like you kind of teach both sides like how we like the one lecture we just watched on Thursday was like kind of swapping the places the class is called black devils and racial supremacy I'm gonna I'm gonna take sort of extreme positions on it right but I'm gonna tell the history as though it happened in the reverse okay so that black people are on top and white people are on the bottom uh huh. And you know, I just think like you show an unbiased opinion. That's probably why. And I think they think most of the time that maybe it would be like extreme Democrats that are teaching these like critical race theories. So uh -huh. like, they would usually be making like white people feel like bad or guilty uh -huh. when like I'm assuming the way I don't know. They just see it like so that you wouldn't like make it feel that way. Okay. So as a white guy in here who's studying finance. Do you, can you recall any moments in the semester where you were feeling kind of sheepish and bad about being a white guy? That like I was kind of hammering away at you? No. Do you have, do you have moments though as a white guy that you went like, damn, I'm here, I'm this white, what are you, 20? 20 year old white guy and like I didn't know about this or I don't know about that. It's like I feel kind of, it, uneducated or we use the word ignorant but I don't like to use that word because it it has certain provocative connotations but like I'm unknowledgeable about these things and I really could probably have a dose of catching up right which is what you get in this class have you had those moments in here yeah I definitely have had like those moments in here like with the whitewashing which is what we talked about before I've never like heard of that before uh-huh um, uh but yeah some things like I don't want to say like I would seem ignorant towards it's just things I've never thought about before I came in here. Yeah, yeah, you don't think about them, right? Just like I don't, I didn't think, I don't think about teaching 
underprivileged kids or like under, in underprivileged classrooms, I don't think about that because it's not what I do, right? So why would I think about that? How would I have any idea? So one of the things that people are really afraid of, and I get emails every day, I get emails from people, and one of the things that they, that emails like this that are saying like, what I have, we have the fear, or I have the fear that what we've had, our school systems have been hijacked by radical leftists who are jamming a philosophy of race divisiveness down the throats of all the students. And in the end, what we're doing is dividing society, right? But what we're seeing is, mm, but that doesn't seem to be happening in this classroom because, you know, you try to take multiple sides and you know, that's, that's not what you're trying to do. And in fairness, for me, as a, as a citizen of the United States, um, I feel like they have something to be, there's something to be said for that. The, the irony is that, <laughs> that's me, dude. Yeah. yeah, dog. The irony is to the two of you, right? So two years ago, you can pull any segment, and this is, let this be a lesson to you all, right? You can pull any segment out of any of our videos. You pull like 10 seconds or 15 seconds or 20 seconds, or you take two 15 second clips and you put them together and you can make any story that you want. And so they pulled this clip together of me talking to this white guy and publicly they decided, this was you know Fox and the whole, the whole right wing anti-critical race theory folks, they decided that the way to frame this for people was to, to tell viewers that I was publicly shaming white people to hate themselves for being white. And then I was the embodiment of critical race theory ideology, that this class was everything that critical race theory, that's wrong with critical race theory. And so the people who watched the videos or read the articles, the short little clip that they made or read, or, or read the articles, started sending me hate emails like to the tune of like every minute or so. And, uh, and, and that's what happens. But in fact, this class is the opposite of that, right? So now, um, yeah, look at that, man. That's crazy.